I'm a DJ, radio presenter, club DJ, talent scout, A&R man. Passionate about what I do, a general busybody. I managed to spend my whole life in and around the music I love. You know, staying true to that kind of desire, do count myself pretty lucky. The way of me expressing my personality was playing music and then turning people onto music and connecting with other people through the radio is kind of what the making of Pete Tong was all about. Asking a DJ to name his favourite records is actually torture. So I'm grateful actually that Ballantyne's phrased it in a different way. They actually said, what about the music telling the soundtrack of your life? It's like DJing, it's like, you know, that's the scene. So what's the music that goes with it? It's quite therapeutic, matching a kind of sound to an experience. It's like being in a psychiatrist's couch. <laughs> The first record I ever was conscious of wanting to own it's got kind of blues, it's got soul. Apparently I was obsessed by that record when I was a kid. God knows what it's about. I still haven't worked it out. But it was Rider White Swan from T-Rex. A tune. <laughs> the song I'd heard as a teenager that opened all sorts of doors in my head. It's probably not what many people would expect, but it was actually a record from the mid-70s. It's like a classical piece, it was like a symphony. It was a journey. Um, it started quiet and ended up manic. It's Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. This was the thing I used to sit in the front room and hone my drumming skills to. One of the tracks that I played at my first ever gig that really stood out to me was Sex Machine by James Brown. Definitely monster floor filler. It was like having an MC in the DJ booth with you. James Brown's performance was effectively a call to arms. It was like, get up! And it usually worked. Going back to 1986, we went off to Ibiza and we were going to go and take over certain clubs. And the record of the trip, Timeless House Music, it was Can You Feel It? from Larry Hurd's Fingers Inc. Just pure, minimal, beautiful, soulful and timeless. The one song that sums me up that acts as a bit of a metaphor for my life is pretty deep. This song still ticks the most boxes, gives me goosebumps. Everything about this record sounds like me, feels like me. From the intro, the kind of melancholic nature of it, kind of uplifting and a bit dark at the same time. So it's got everything I like about music. If I had to deal with God, I wish I'd signed her actually. <laughs> 